What is up, you two? It's your boy Keek Nation, and I know we don't got no face cam. There's two reasons for that, man. It's 12 o'clock in the morning, and secondly, this is a quick, short, and lovely video just to give you guys a little bit of information, a little bit of tips. I want to throw out a video along with all the other YouTubers who are going to be throwing out videos. I got school today, and if I do a face cam video, it's going to make my video file like two gigabytes long. It's going to make it an hour to render and edit out. It, then it's going to take like two hours. It's going to take like an hour or something like that to upload. So we're not going to do all that for a video this simple. You guys don't need to see my face. Just listen and intake the information. So hopefully when I release this video, NBA Live Mobile 19 would have been released. We will have a new season of NBA Live Mobile. And of course, a lot of you newbies, a lot of you new guys are going to want to know how to level up. You're going to need to level up to unlock Showdown to unlock season, to unlock the auction house, to unlock a lot of things this year. So leveling up is extremely, extremely important. While in prior years, you either didn't need to level up exactly, or you need to level up only for the auction house. In addition to that, you guys are gonna wanna know how to make coins. You guys are gonna need coins to buy players, to buy some of these packs. And I'm going to be going in a little bit in depth on how to do those things. So let's go ahead and hop into it okay how to level up this is probably the most simplest thing once you begin to understand it so in the game nba live we have these things called live events live events are now i think they're being called uh gosh darn campaigns so i think they're campaigns i don't know if they're going to be live events if they were last year but there are campaigns currently so with every new campaign there is what a what is called a first win reward. So a first win reward is the first time that you complete the live event slash campaign. You will get something that will look like 200 coins, and then in addition, it'll say plus 500 first win. That will be your first win reward. So let's say XP. It'd be 200 XP plus 300 first win. So you guys want to look at your first win rewards. You guys want to play those live events. Play every new live event. The first win reward if it is reasonable so don't do a live event that is 200 stamina with a plus win of like 50 xp while there's a live event with 200 xp for 10 stamina every time you see what i'm saying you guys gotta balance it out you guys gotta just be smart stamina to xp wise you guys want to use the least amount of stamina while getting the most amount of xp that why that way you guys keep leveling up you guys keep getting stamina refills you guys can keep playing throughout the day while you guys are doing these objectives and while you guys are doing these uh campaigns make sure you guys do your objectives objectives should be in the top right corner if it's the same as last year or it might be somewhere on the home screen i just don't know i haven't looked to the game yet but you guys should be able to find objectives objectives will look something like do two jump shots steal the ball two times open the pack and use 100 stamina something like that daily objectives will be you guys will get 50 stamina for that and another way to earn stamina is last year you guys could watch ads i don't know if they're re-bringing that back but it was a way to watch ads i think if you click the top right corner and the notifications thing there is a little drop down that says view to get stamina i don't know if they're doing it again this year but if there is you guys should check that and yeah, that's all you guys gotta do. Make sure you guys keep your stamina right. Make sure you guys are using your stamina to XP ratio correctly. In addition to this, you guys are gonna be making coins. You guys are gonna be getting packs from the live events you guys are doing, which leads us into our next part. So while you're making coins from the things that you're doing, doing all the live events, doing all the first one live events, you guys are gonna be getting the packs, bronze players, silver players, maybe even gold players. You're doing the sets correctly. You guys are making good investments. I recommend selling almost everything, especially gold and elite players. I recommend selling almost anything, almost everything, unless you guys start to play live events and it's really, really getting hard to win. Then that's when you start adding those gold players to your team, so that way it gives you guys a better chance of winning. But off the bat, gold players are going to be going for crazy amounts. Elites are going to be going for crazy amounts. If you guys have season score tickets, those cards you pull out, those packs are going to be going for crazy amounts. They will eventually, over the next week or so, start to tone down. So let's say you pull a LeBron today, you can sell them for three mil today. He's not going to be going for three mil in a week when people have opened packs, when people have played live events, when more people have done, played the game, joined the game. He's not going to be going for the same amount that he was on the first day in a week. So I do recommend selling mostly all of your cards. If I pull a LeBron, honestly, I'm going to keep him just because I'm a LeBron fan. But if I pull like someone like a, like a Draymond Green or somebody like that, an elite, I'm just going to sell them, make some coins, stash my coins. And then in the upcoming weeks when cards start to become cheaper, you, that's when you start to build 
your team. Now, I'm going to be throwing out a budget beast video very soon, either later on today or tomorrow, which is a video that I plan to do. I know this video was done by D. Heyman. I wanted to do this video first, but obviously he had better access. He has the early gameplay. I don't, but this is my little, my little, my little tips, man, just to help you guys out for my Kick Nation fans out there. If you guys are new, like and subscribe. I'm gonna be live streaming later on today. Or with a video, I don't know. I think I'm going to come home and just live stream me opening all my season score tickets. We will see when we get there. But until the stream or until tomorrow's next video or later on today with a video, we out.